Intensive practice 7.4, questions number 1. A point R, X, Y move so that its distance from two fixed point A, negative 1, 10, and B, 2, 6 is such that R, A to R, B is equal to 1 to 2. Find A, the equations of locus of R. So based on the information, this will be the position A and B on the Cartesian plans, and the locus R will be a circle. So here, the ratio of R A to R B will be equal to 1 to 2. To find the equations, we're going to use the distance formula. So based on the ratio here, when we do the cross multiplications, we're going to get 2 R A is equal to 1 R B. So to find the distance R A, we're going to let the coordinate A here as the X1, Y1. So 2 times the square root of x minus negative 1 square plus y minus 10 square and for the distance rb it will be square root x minus 2 plus y minus 6 square so next we're going to square both sides to remove the square root so so here 2 square we're going to get 4 then x plus 1 square plus y minus 10 square so on the right hand side straight away i'm going to expand this x minus 2 square will be x square minus 4x plus 4 and for the y minus 6 square it will be y square minus 12y plus 36 so now we're going to expand the left hand side x plus 1 square will be x square plus 2x plus 1 and y minus 10 square will be y square minus 20y plus 100 and on the right hand side I will just arrange this and solve for the like terms so 4 plus 36 will equal to 40 so next we're going to expand on the left hand side so we're going to get 4x square plus 8x and the number 1 plus the 100 will get 101 times 4. We're going to get positive 404. Then plus 4y squared minus 80y. Next, we're going to move everything to the left-hand side. So here we're going to get 4x squared minus x squared, which is equal to 3x squared. Then 4y squared minus y squared, positive 3y squared. Then, add x plus 4x is equal to 12x. Then, negative 80y plus 12y is equal to negative 68y. Then, 404 minus 40, this is equal to positive 364. So, this is equal to 0. So here we are not able to simplify this equation anymore. So this will be the equations of locus of R. Questions B. Find the coordinates of the points on the locus R that touches the y-axis. So this is referred to the intersection point between the locus R and the y-axis. For any points that is lines on the y-axis, the x-coordinate is equal to 0. Then, to find its y-coordinate, we're going to substitute the x equal to 0 into the equations of the locus of r. Then, the equations here will be 3y squared minus 68y plus 364 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation. To solve this, we're going to use the factorization method. So, the first bracket, we're going to get y minus 14. And the second bracket will be 3y minus 26, this is equal to 0. Then y is equal to 14. And the other value will be 26 over 3. Therefore, the coordinates of the points will be 0, 14. And the other one will be 0, 26 over 3. Question number 2. The diagram on the right shows a line segment AB with coordinates A11 and B79. Finds the equations of locus of moving point S such that triangle ABS always has a right angle at S. So what I'm drawing here is a few 
possible position for the point S so that it has a right angle at S. So here the locus S is not going to be a straight line but it's going to be a circle. Just that in this case we didn't know the ratio of the SB and SA. But no matter where is the position S, the straight line SB is always perpendicular to the line SA. And when we multiply the gradient of the two perpendicular lines, the answer is equal to negative 1. So here we're going to find the equations through these informations. So here we're going to let the coordinates of the moving point S as the xy. To find the gradient SA, it will be y minus 1 over x minus 1. And the gradient SB will be y minus 9 over x minus 7. So this is equal to negative 1. So next I'm going to move the x minus 1 times the x minus 7 to the right hand side. So this will be y minus 1 times y minus 9. This is equal to negative 1 x minus 1 x minus 7. Expand this you're going to get y square minus 10y plus 9 this is equal to x square minus 8x plus 7 then we're going to expand on the right hand side we're going to get negative x square plus 8x minus 7 next we're going to move everything to the left hand side and rearrange this so we're going to start with the negative x square to the left hand side it will be x square then plus y square so the positive at x will be negative at x minus 10 y so the 9 will plus the 7 this is equal to positive 16 then this is equal to 0 then this will be the equations of locus of moving point s question number three point q move along the arc of a circle with center 6 5 the arc of the circle passes through r to add and s k2 Find A, the equations of locus of Q. So based on the information, so the locus Q is the circle with the center 6, 5. So this will be the positions R. And for the point S, there are two possible positions. So let's say the green line here is the straight lines for the Y equal to 2. So based on the Y coordinates. So one position of S will be here and this will be the other one. So first, we're going to find the distance from R to the center, which is the radius. So here, we're going to use the distance formula. So it will be square root 2 minus 6 square plus 8 minus 5 square. So this is equal to square root of negative 4 square plus 3 square. So this is equal to square root 25. So the radius is equal to 5 units. To find the equations, we're going to let the coordinate of the moving point Q as the x, y and the coordinate of the center as the x1, y1. So the distance of the radius, which is the x minus 6 square plus y minus 5 square. This is equal to 5 units. So next, we're going to square both sides to remove the square root. So on the left hand side, straight away, I'm going to expand the x minus 6 square. So you're going to get x square minus 12x plus 36. And when you expand y minus 5 square, you're going to get y square minus 10y plus 25. This is equal to 25. So here we have positive 25 on both sides, so we can cancel this. And I'm going to rearrange these equations. So it will be x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 10y plus 36. This is equal to 0. So this will be the equations of locus of Q. Questions B finds the value of K. So here the point S is the intersection point between the circle and the straight lines. Y equal to 2. So the point S is also the point that is lies on the circle. So to find the value of K, we're going to substitute the coordinates K2 into the equations. 
So here the x, we're going to substitute it with k. So k squared plus, so the y will substitute it with 2. So here we're going to get 12k minus 10 times 2 plus 36 equal to 0. So k squared plus 4 minus 12k minus 20 plus 36 equal to 0. So I'm going to rearrange this. k squared minus 12k. So 4 minus 20 plus 36, this is equal to positive 20. So this is a quadratic equation. To solve this, we're going to use the factorization method. So the first bracket will be k minus 2 and the second bracket will be k minus 10. Therefore, k is equal to 2 or k is equal to 10. Question number 4. The diagram on the right shows the locus of moving point P such that its distance from point R, 1, 0 and lines x equal to negative 1 are the same. Find the equations of locus of moving point P. As the distance PR to PS are the same, therefore the ratio will be 1 to 1. Here the coordinate S will be the x is negative 1 but we didn't know the coordinate y. As PS is a horizontal straight line, it means the coordinate y for the point P and S will be the same. To find the equations, we're going to use the distance formula. So here, the distance PS is equal to the distance PR. The distance PS will be the square root of x minus negative 1 square plus y minus y square. And the distance PR will be x minus 1 square plus y minus 0 square. So next, we're going to square both sides to remove the square root. So on the left hand side, we're going to get x plus 1 square. y minus y here will be 0. So this is equal to x minus 1 square plus y square. So next, we're going to expand the x plus 1 square. It will be x square plus 2x plus 1. And expand the x minus 1 square, it will be x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square. So on both sides, we are having the uh, same positive x square, so we can cancel this as well for the positive 1. So next, I'm going to move the 2x to the right hand side. So, so y square negative 2x minus 2x is minus 4x equal to 0. Then this will be the equations of the locus of moving point P. Number 5. The diagram on the right shows the x-axis and y-axis which represent the flow and wall respectively. A pole LK of length 9 meter leaning against the wall touches the floor and wall at points K, alpha 0 and L0 beta respectively. A write the equations which relates alpha and beta. So here the pole, wall and floor here will create a right angle triangle. And the length point L to the origin here will be the beta and from the origin to the point K the length will be alpha. So here we can use the Pythagoras theorems to relate alpha and beta and the pole will be the hypotenuse. So here alpha square plus beta square this is equal to 9 square. Therefore alpha square plus beta square is equal to 81. Questions B. Given P, XY is a point on the pole such that the ratio LP to PK is equal to 1 to 2. Both ends of the pole slide along the x-axis and y-axis. Find the equations of locus of point P. So here the locus P will be a circle. And we didn't know the coordinate L and K. In questions A, we already find the equations that relates the alpha and beta, which is alpha square plus beta square, this is equal to 81. So if we can substitute the alpha and beta in terms of x and y, then we can find the equations of the locus point P. So here the point P is the divisor for the line segment LK. So using the formula for divisor of a line segment, so when 
1 times alpha plus 2 times 0 divided by the total ratio which is 1 plus 2 they will give us the x coordinate of the point P which is x so alpha over 3 equal to x then alpha is equal to 3 times x which is 3x and when 1 times 0 plus 2 times beta divide by the total ratio 1 plus 2 this will give us the y coordinate of the point P which is y so here 2 beta over 3 is equal to y so 2 beta is equal to 3 times y which is 3y then beta is equal to 3y over 2 so here we already have alpha and beta in terms of x and y then we're going to substitute into the equations alpha square plus beta square equal to 81 so here we're going to get 3x square plus bracket 3y over 2 square equal to 81 so the 3x square will give us the answer of 9x square plus 3y over 2 square we're going to get 9y square over 4 equal to 81 so next I'm going to multiply each terms here with number 4 so that I don't have to deal with the fractions so here we'll get 36x square plus so the 4 here will be cancelled just left with 9y square this is equal to 3 to 4 so here I'm going to move everything to the left hand side So this equation, we are able to simplify it. So we're going to divide every term here with 9. So we're going to get 4x squared plus y squared minus 36 equal to 0. That will be the equations of the locus point P. Question number 6. A monkey is tied to one vertex of his cage, which measure 1 meter times 1 meter with a rope. The length of the rope is two and a half meter. Sketch and explain the locus if the monkey move anticlockwise around the cage with the rope taut. So when the monkey move anticlockwise until this position, this part here is a quadrant of a circle with the center at this point. Let's say we name this point here as point A. And let's say we name the locus here as the locus P. Then the two and a half meter here will be the radius. Then the locus P is a quadrant with center A and radius of two and a half meter. And when the monkey continue to move anticlockwise, the length of the rope here will be two and a half minus one, which is one and a half meter, as this part here is also one meter. Then this part here will be another quadrant of a circle with the center at this point. Let's say we name this point here as point B. And the radius for this quadrant will be one and a half meter. And let's say we name this locus here as locus Q. Then the locus Q will be a quadrant with center B and radius of one and a half meter. As the monkey continue to move anticlockwise, now the length of the rope here will be just one and a half minus one, will be just half meter. Then this last part here will be another quadrant of a circle with the center at the point here. Let's say we name this point as point C. And let's say we name this locus here as locus R. So locus R, is a quadrant with the center C and the radius of half meter.